In this episode, we'll take another look at hard light, specifically using barn doors. So first of all, what is hard light? Hard light is where the light to shadow transition is very, very defined, very distinct. On the other hand, soft light is where there's generally a smoother transition from light to shadow. And you might find our previous episode over here on hard versus soft light interesting in terms of getting a good background. Two of my workhorse lights are the Aperture COB 120s. I have a daylight version and a tungsten version. Today we are actually being key lighted by the tungsten version and the daylight version is actually casting this light on the background. So the interesting thing is that up until now there has not been a set of dedicated barn doors from Aperture for these lights. Now it has a Bowens mount, so you could find other third parties out there that try to produce those. The ones that I saw were okay, but not amazing. Now Aperture has their own set. The reason that's important, I think, is that hard light can actually be really, really useful in a lot of situations. A lot of people shy away from it because it does cast those very distinct uh, transitions from light to shadow, but that can be to your advantage in some cases. For example, on this background. There are lots of other situations where hard light can be really helpful and barn doors can help you achieve the look you're going for. Let's first take a look at the barn doors from Aperture. First of all, there's a new shallower reflector with a matte black finish inside. This helps keep the light as hard as possible. A silver reflector would make a larger light source and thus soften the light a little bit. The barn door is attached to the front of the new reflector with this simple wire clip. You can also put it on the old reflector if you wanted to do that as well. One thing that's really nice is it comes with this gel frame with clips and magnets to quickly put gels in place. And this opens up a world of possibilities as well. This is a much easier way to work with gels rather than trying to clip them on the front of the barn doors. Each of the four doors, which are very high quality metal, also have black velvet on the interior to really suck up that stray light, which is a really nice feature as well. Like most barn doors, there is a tiny, tiny bit of light leak in certain positions. I use black wrap to take care of that in situations where it happens, but I will say that these barn doors tend to have less light leak than I've seen on a lot of others. So overall, a really nice build from Aperture here. I don't have the pricing or availability information yet. I'll go ahead and add that to the description and comments once that becomes available. Now, when would you want to use hard light and use your barn doors to achieve a hard light look. Well, overall, being able to control the hard light very precisely is an incredible storytelling tool. And what I mean by that is you can define negative space and or shadows very, very clearly with a tool like this. Whereas with soft boxes and things of that nature, it tends to spill everywhere. Even if you put one of the grids on front, it's still gonna do some spilling and you're still gonna need to pull out some flags and other things like that. With barn doors, it's all contained on the light and it takes you a long way in terms of really crafting the look that you want. One thing I really like to do is on product shots, I can create a little bit more mystery by cutting the light on the edges a little bit. And what this does is it kind of creates a, it's almost sort of like a vignette or something along those lines, a gradient, and it gives it a more mysterious kind of interesting look. You can also use a hard light as a key light. Now that's gonna give you a little bit of a harsher look. That can be the exact right thing in a certain type of story. So it is something you shouldn't shy away from, use it when it's appropriate. And here's a great example of where we did that over here. Now, in addition to that, not only can you use it to create a hard key, but you can also soften that just a little bit. So if you gang up a softbox and a hard light using the barn doors like this, you can actually create a really, really interesting look where you have some elements and the high contrast of a hard light, but you also can soften those lines just a little bit using the softbox. One other nice thing is that with the gel holder, I often put soft frost in there so I can soften up the light just a little bit on its own. So I still get a lot of the benefits of a hard light. That is the really nice contrast, but it does soften those transitions from light to shadow just a touch. One of the most common uses for a hard light with barn doors is a hair light like we're using here. What we do is we actually use the barn doors to contain the light and really just kind of get it exactly where we want it on the back of the person's head to create that rim. And it doesn't go splashing into the camera lens and create other issues in terms of contrast or flaring. So again, something you can use all the time. In addition to using it on the reflector that comes with the barn doors, you can also mount it to Aperture's Fresnel lens. So if you wanted to combine the ability to focus the light and cut it with the barn doors, you can do that as well. What I really like about this system overall, especially with the new barn doors, is that now I can do pretty much everything I need to do with a single light. So it's very, very flexible. I can make it a soft key. I can make it a hard hair light. I can make it a light that is putting some sort of interesting light pattern on the backdrop. I can do almost anything I need to. So really nice addition from Aperture. And keep in mind that hard light can be your friend and very useful. Hope that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave those down below. If you've not already subscribed, make sure you do that. And we'll be sure to get you more great videos on how to improve your lighting and sound for video. And if you'd like to be notified each time a new video comes out, go ahead and click that bell icon. 
Talk to you soon.